So we are working with congruent triangles, and we got this nice little bow tie set up here, and we're given some things. They want us to prove that TS is congruent to WV. TS congruent to WV. Now we don't know anything about TS and WV except that they are corresponding parts in separate triangles. Um, so first we're going to have to prove the triangles are the same. So, well, let's start using what they give us. Um, TU is congruent to WU. Awesome, and they got a tick mark there because it's given. Um, angle T congruent to angle W because it's given. Um, well, we got a vertical angle thing. We got the bow tie. I don't know if they're parallel, so you can't use alternate interiors. Um, so we'll just use the vertical because we know that. So angle. Oh, let's go. T U S congruent to angle. Let's see what T U S. We gotta go W U V W U V because of vertical angles. All right, so it gives us angle, side angle. All right, so the triangles are the same. So triangle TUS is congruent to triangle WV because of, let's see, angle, side, and then we got the verticals, so that's right there. Angle, side, angle. Awesome. Well, now that we know that, the corresponding parts are the same. The twins that we think are twins are actually twins. So, TS is congruent to WV because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So, again, we got to show the triangles that are congruent. And once we know the triangles are congruent, once we prove the triangles are congruent by you know, one of our four methods, we can then uh, say the parts are the same, the corresponding parts. So let's do another one down here. Where are you at? All right. Okay. Here we go. We got parallel lines. Got a segment. I probably should have picked another one that's not a bow tie, so it would look a little bit different. Oh, this one. But this one has parallel. So hey, we'll get to use something. All right, so TS parallel, and yes, you got to write down that it's parallel because you can't use parallel unless you write it down. Parallel is two VW um, because given. Let's go ahead and just use that right away. So that means angle T is congruent to T T T T's twin along that line. Do the Z. Uh, to, to angle W because alternate alternate interior angles alternate sides of the street and inside the parallels and just for fun we'll use it again angle S is congruent to angle V because alternate interior angles Awesome. Uh, so we got a side, an angle, and an angle. So triangle. Now uh, let's name this thing. Triangle S T U is congruent to triangle. We want S T U, so V W U to V W U because of side angle angle. Again, you could have named the triangle slightly differently. You could call it S T U. You can call it UTS as long as you call the next one UVW. Um, we could have called it TSU as long as the, the next one's named WVU. Again, there's a certain order that's going on there. Um, and SAA is also the same is also the same as AAS. So now that we know the triangles are the same, we are allowed to say the corresponding parts, the twins, actually are twins. So TS is congruent to uh, w, V, because corresponding parts are congruent, triangles are congruent. C, P, C, T, C. So, T, S, W, V. That's the final step.
of using congruent triangles. Now we also know that angle, let's see where the angle. We also know that angle is the same. We also know that SU is um, the same as VU. We also know that these are parallel. Oh, they are parallel. Duh. They were giving this as parallel. Um, that's thoughts.